Back to Gold League for World of Tanks. I'm Clutch from my root kill. Please follow us on Twitter at WGLNA, Facebook.com slash WGLNA, where you can sign up for the new event that's just been started for the finals. You can RSVP there. And also go to our website, WGLNA.com. Tell us how you are going to attend the finals. Plane, train, automobile, tank, tank, plane. Another <laughs> uh, tank. <laughs> train. Two tanks. A convoy of tanks. A togs. A boat. Let us know. And on a float. we... I believe we're going to have some VIP tickets as well. So if we really like you, if you're really cool, and Rukil says you're cool, then you're cool. We'll get you a ticket. That's pretty easy. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're giving out some codes, the best ones. We do have one that was sent in. Let me go ahead and load this up. Yeah. Uh, one second here. Yay. Right, how to get one. to the finals. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So this is from Jordan Harris. Okay. It says, this is how I'd get to the finals. Hashtag first class tank. That nice. reminds me of an M22 Locust. That looks like kind of like an MS1 with wings. <laughs> it's got to be a Russian <laughs> idea. It looks yeah. Russian. It's got to be. Yeah. That's, that's one way. Although, if I remember correctly, gliding tanks onto the battlefield is generally a bad idea. Well, they try to do it with the M22 Locust, which is one of the segments that we hear when I'm with this chieftain. And this is a very small tank, and what they were trying to do with it was to have it move in on gliders and to uh, like take over... Um, landing pads and stuff like that. We're thinking, well, if planes are getting close, why would they fight in a hot zone for a landing a landing area yeah. or a landing strip? So they were, there were some issues with it. It didn't quite fit. Uh, There's about nine tanks total that was used from the information that I've seen. Hmm. And the military uh, for the British side had a number of them that were used. Just didn't quite hit the mark. And it's a small tank, it's, too. Yeah, because when, when you already own the landing strip, there's no point in yeah, flying in a tank like secure. that. Yeah. That's just, just you don't need to do that. Maybe you could drop one out of a plane from very high up and put a parachute on it, but I don't even. No, it's just a bad idea. Planes aren't tanks aren't made to fly. They just aren't made to fly. They belong on the ground. <laughs> Maybe you put them on a boat. Just not a not a plane. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Face off is ready. No limit versus nerve. Good evening, gentlemen. Hello. How's it? How you doing? <laughs> Colin's uh, like, what are you doing here? I don't know what I'm doing here. What's she doing here? What's she doing here? Yeah. She's playing for me tonight. I'm yeah. drinking. And she's okay. playing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, cheers to that. Nice to meet you. Uh, <laughs> conflict significant other. And no limit, floppy giraffe. You're looking dapper, my friend. You took uh, got a haircut, got a bit of a shave. Yep. Uh, right. Figured that 0 and 6 start, you know. Needed to change things up a bit. That's one way to do it. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> Riley Beard's wor work for some. It was working for the Boston Red Sox, but when they start losing, I'm sure they'll shave as well. No, let me, let's start with you real quick. 0 oh, 6, tough place, buddy. But what can you do, right? What can you do? You yeah. can only fight on. Uh, well, I guess uh, as, as it looks like tonight, I think we control whoever comes down into Silver League for next season with us. Um, we win tonight, I think Nerve comes down with us. Or we lose tonight, I think Refuse Die comes down with us. So, I guess we get to play the spoiler still. <laughs> That's true. I got you know, look at it optimistically. You can still affect the outcome. All right, Conflict. You guys are one and five. Last match of the season. You're trying to fight to get out of relegation. What are your thoughts and feelings right now? Uh, thoughts and feelings. I don't have feelings. Um... Thoughts? <laughs> uh, I just want to win, really. Um, we started coming together uh, in the last match, and I guess the practices between the Refuse to Die match and the last match. So overall, we're good now. Uh, we're doing a bunch of practices with um, some of the top teams. Doing really well there. Um, made a few logistical changes, I guess. Um, and that is showing now, I think. So moving forward, um, I think it's just up. Got to move up from here. Got to move up from here. All right. Well, Conflict, do you have any words for your opponent? Or does your significant other have any words for an opponent before we start? Do you have any words for our opponent? <laughs> I better lose. You better lose. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, she's a keeper. <laughs> All right. No <laughs> limit. Any, any words for uh, Mrs. Conflict? Uh, best of luck to you guys, and uh, see you in Silver League. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nerve, you have the higher seat. Heads or tails on the, uh, on the coin flip? 
Heads or tails? Tails is the That's... call. Yeah. And it is tails. So you get map choice or defer nerf. Defer. All right, they will defer. No limit. Uh, I guess we'll pick Ensk. Ensk will be the first map. Nerve, what's your spawn location? North. North side on Ensk. All right, All right. we'll take no limit. All right, gentlemen, best of luck. Thank you. Okay. Now, since uh, Conflict's not going to be able to make it to the finals, I wonder if his girlfriend still wants to go. I don't you know. You could be your date. Maybe, but <laughs> we've got her Skype. Well, <laughs> we got her Skype now. We've we've got that much. Maybe we can work yeah, with that. Yeah, she's cute. Maybe, man. I don't know. She's cute. Well, well done, well done, Conflict. Yeah. Thank you for thank you for bringing her on. That was nice. Uh, and she's feisty. It's good. <laughs> that's a that's a plus. She's that was a keeper fun. just for that, that one. That's fun. All right, so this match again, people like this match doesn't matter. It does matter because Nerve is trying to get out of relegation. What mm -hmm. happens in relegation is that you do have a low scoring record of the season. You have to fight for the right to stay in the uh, bracket, pretty much, for season four. I almost yeah. said you have to fight for your right to party. Well, they don't get to fight for their party. right to party. That's the <laughs> upper guys. Yeah, that's the upper guys. Yeah. Uh, and for no limit. They're 0-6, so they're not even going to make it to relegation, I believe. They're just out. They're going to be brought down to Silver League. Yeah, unfortunate so for them, but they can always make is. their way back. They could they try the open qualifier. Well, they can. Season. There's two slots. Uh, mm -hmm. Season four, I believe. I'm yeah. pretty sure we're going to stick with the same format. I, I don't see another way. Nobody's been telling me anything differently, so I'm going to go with what I know. Same way season one, season two, season three. Yeah. Going to yeah. have to find them all again. Uh, if they're, if, although, if they're competing, it'll make it very much easier to organize matches, because yeah. at least I know where to find these guys. It's, uh, it's tough, man, because this is the team that joined us known as Scurry Heart. Yeah, that's no limit. And uh, they changed their name in season two because they had some changes with their roster and they the They kicked out their captain, who, was resp who pretty much owned the name Scurry Heart. It was his, Squirrelin. Yeah. And when they got rid of him, they said, we're going to change our name. We're no limit now. And they came no limit. And uh, they were unable to make it into season two. In season three, they just didn't have a rough time. Tofu Smurf was a member of that team, but he traded over to Simple Tinkers. I yeah, he, he went and left. Uh, and he was... I he wasn't the most active member, though, of the team. Uh, he was active sometimes, but I think he was not always there. And they lost him. I don't know if that really kill killed them as a team, but they've always had trouble. And with teams performing even better in Season 3, I think it, just the fact that they weren't as improving as much as others really hurt them. They're having trouble, and maybe they'll find it once they go to the Silver League, get some chance to develop better, see some wins, really get that confidence yeah. up. Maybe come back, kind of like Spurg Lords. Spurg Lords, they, they're performing well, but I think what's really propelling them far is the fact that they have some high morale. High morale. That's, yeah. that's a really... When you put it on paper, yeah. it's like high morale. Oh, I understand that concept. But when you're a leader of a team, it is so delicate sometimes because losses affect people in different ways, and they cope in different ways. Yeah. And as a leader, you have to let those people cope, but you also have to bring them out of, you know, the, the pity parties, the being sullen all the time. And it takes tact, it takes patience, but it also takes uh, sometimes a steady hand yeah. to make sure it happens. And and I feel for uh, any team leader that has to go through that. I mean, Doc Golem right now leading River of Blood. Um, They're always in that situation now. <laughs> always in that situation. That's why Doc so River of Blood's like, you know what? I'm gonna have this <laughs> mantle go on to somebody else. Uh, so they can get a feeling for it. Anyways, uh, Ents will be the first map. Real quickly, guys, betting is open. Quick reminder, for Season 3, the top better uh, will take home a Type 59 tank, a Chinese tank that's no longer available in stores. All you have to do to bet is follow the syntax in the chat. I'm sure people have already been seeing it once the bet opened up. There's three minutes from the coin flip for the bet to happen. Now there's two more matches after this one to place your bets, and then tomorrow night, that's it for the regular season play. I am not sure if we're going to have any bets for the playoffs. Um, that's actually up to the account manager if we're going to do that. So the winner could be announced at the end of the week or at the season finals. It's just going to depend upon when they add up all the tallied uh, bets for the season. So the game is going to start on Ents. Battle number one of match number three, No Limit versus Nerve. Let's battle. I'm sad. I drew something. <laughs> Do something on Ents. It's gone now. We're not going to have enough it's time. It's just a sad There piece. it is. <laughs> Keep you. <laughs> nice. Well done. What Thank do we you. have for ticks? Give me a second to get in. And <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Looking at her time. Mexi Bean in 5100. Spall liner? What? And 
<laughs> oh, well, even more surprising, right below that, Squirrel Tag and Static in the Waffles, 150s on those. Compton in the IS-3. On the other side, Angry White Guy, Lord Commander, 5100s, Conflict, Gen Scott, Protector in IS-3s. Interesting. I want <laughs> Waffles, man. I don't know how they're going to make these work, but okay. Go for it. Squirrel Tag, looking north. Static, also looking north. The rest of the tanks going east. That's I, this this strat is confusing me. I don't know what's going on. I am trying it. to figure it out as well, but we're going to have to wait and see. But two of the Waffentragers being brought by No Limit. You have to say it with that kind of emphasis, guys. Waffles. Waffentrager! I say waffle. <laughs> it's waffle time, Clutch. I, I look forward to seeing how they're going to be able to accomplish what Simple Tankers was unable to do twice with these tanks. Angry White Guy holding the line. They have the wrong the camo, guys. You need bacon camo. No, they like this one. Bacon camo. The green cow camo. Bacon camo. Uh, let's see what Conflict's doing. Conflict. Is this just a bacon camo, is it? No. No. It's this isn't bacon, bacon camo. No. Only only Germans get bacon camo. Okay. And and as you can see, that's not bacon camo. It looks like a bunch of bacteria that you put under a pastry or a petri dish. Yeah. Pastry dish. Uh oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> Yeah. And then Squirrel Tag it's also no bacon camo, right. just stripey. Stripey camo. Oh, stripes good. Stripes are cool, maybe, but not as cool as bacon camo. Bit of a standstill from both teams here. Lieutenant Carter took some hits. I'm going to find out where his location is. Wow, 7 HP, firefight between the two ones. There was a firefight. And Floppy Giraffe was the gunner on that one. And now T1 fight going to happen to Rasta, squaring off. Oh no, Hornsby, you backed off. Hornsby, fight. Fight him. I wanted them to fight. But Hornsby reacted too quickly, left the fight. But now there's actually, who is that? That is Static. He's going to zero on Hornsby. That's a 150. That's a big bullet. Bigger almost than bullet shell. And he's going to actually, oh, that, I think he just fired heat. And it went through into a truck. Maxi B. Did he just, did he just get ammo wrecked? I, I, I think he just. What? Did what? Jen Scott, where were you? I was looking at the T1, thinking they're going to keep going. Mexibi just got ammo racked. Wow. He's 5,100. He didn't have a spall liner, did he? Uh, why do you need a spall liner? It's not going to help your ammo rack. No. He does, you need a wet ammo rack to help with yeah. that. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's. There was not enough. There are not enough tanks there. You mentioned to spall liner. I was thinking. That's, that's well, going to help against HE. I know, but it, do they have it instead of the wet ammo rack? Is the, the is choice? No, generally. No one would have that. 5100s generally just ignore it. They've got yeah. the crew skill for their ammo rack, so they just say, eh, it's fine. But that's that's big. Wow. Uh, I haven't seen a 5100 get ammo racked in a while. I didn't even expect that to happen. I was just watching him there. Compton, the IS3 takes down a T1. I'm. I'm <laughs> I'm finding everyone dying, not where I'm watching them. Well, that's because we're not expecting them to go boom in one shot. Yeah, it's tough. Only two cameramen here, guys. Uh, myself and Rukil. We are commentating and live camera shooting. I like camera shooting, though. Same time. I get to do shots like this. Although everyone tells me it's like watching a roller coaster, which <laughs> is true. Yeah, going a little bit too fast. <laughs> People throwing up. Come on, guys. This is Terrible. fun. No, I get to fun. do, like, drive-bys. Wow. All right, uh, okay, this. so Protector of the Realm took a hit at oh. 1165 out of 1500. Conflict was right next to him, and Jen Scott was the one that got the ammo rack down this corner. So this was down the one line. This is causing no limit to completely move over to the east side, uh, or at least down the center for the time being. They're going to send their Waffentragers out. I understand the defensive positioning of Nerve because of those Waffentragers. They do so much damage, but the reload takes a while. So the damage is not continuous, and if the shot is missed, it's a big opening, a big window. I'm wondering why we're not actually seeing a push out of Nerve. They've they've got a whole tier eight advantage, and they know that the tank died. I, it's not like because they didn't see him, they don't know he's gone boom. And maybe they're sitting there in complete disbelief that they've completely annihilated a tank without a whole lot of effort. Call that's that's got to be it. Um, right. oh wait, maybe they loaded HE because there's waffles, and your HE on the IS3 will pen waffles without a problem, doing extra damage, and so they loaded it. And you could still pen with HE on an IS3 on the turret. Oh, a 5100, and they all fired HE, and they all hit. And yeah. It, and if they would have had a spall liner, it would have been better guarded against it. Precisely. <laughs> 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 the threads are connecting, guys. Oh, great. But Mexi Bean had a spall liner, protecting him from HE damage. So it must have been AP. Hmm. Clearly. In due to the hmm. I'm just looking at the loadout here. Yeah, he had 
Max Sabine had a spall liner. <laughs> I, mean, I just, which I totally called out. Yeah. <laughs> I just, but I'm just, uh, <laughs> what is happening, guys? <laughs> the There's meta is breaking down between these two teams. <laughs> and we're at a standstill. Four minutes, 53 seconds. Still no five-minute reset happening from both teams here. Yeah. The, well, the kind of a reset. You've got a repositioning for no limit. They've gone to the east. Decided, um, well, after one of our guys spontaneously exploded, <laughs> I think we should move. Yeah, I, that sounds like a good idea. Imagine that east. radio call. Yeah, he took one hit from a tank, and he just blew up. Uh, all right, guys, fall back. We don't know what they're packing in those nice. mysteries. <laughs> Nuclear warheads. Depleted uranium shots. They, they did what we Not saw yesterday, case. putting bigger guns on smaller tanks. Well, are you sure? W uh, w we both weren't... Unfortunately, down this corridor to see. I was watching the. I, I was watching even the a waffle. triple, even a triple fire from these three IS threes. It can't do it. No, not enough. He'd still maybe, be alive. A maybe little. max twelve fifty. Well, damage. he p got double tapped, and both shots probably hit his ammo rack because he was side on. I'll go back to him and I'll show yeah. you real quick. Well, if I yeah, go and show yeah, the the smoking carcass. We I gotta fly to the other side of the map because no one's even close. Do, 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 do. Okay, now I'm almost there. Okay, there he is. So. 5,100, side-on. Amorak is right below the turret. Sitting right there. So he probably just absorbed all those shots straight into his tank. And so he went kaboom very easily. That's that story, guys. That's what happened here. I'm I'm a genius. I should be a cop. <laughs> I should be a detective. <laughs> you should fight crime, Ruko. Exactly. Not That's enough pay in it, though. Mm. Not enough pay. That's why you do it at night. A night With cop? A mask. With a mask on. <laughs> oh, but you don't get paid to be a crime fighter. Oh, that's right. Bruce Wayne's uh, already yeah, there. He's Dang already it. got money. Got Superman. Doesn't need money. He's uh -huh. Superman. Does he even need to eat? Yeah. Oh, really? He does. He, does. He, he can fly in space, but he doesn't need to eat. And well, he, he, his cells still break down the same way as ours do. They're just affected differently by our sun. Maybe he should be eating super But, food, I mean, though. I think he can survive a lot longer without food because of the rays of the sun. That's when he's not in sunlight for a very, very long time that he starts to... He's so, oh, yeah. I forgot he's solar-powered. I always thought he was solar powered, so he didn't need to eat, and he just did it as a courtesy or something. Mm, I mean, I know alcohol doesn't affect him. Really? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, it's a good question, though. I haven't really di divulged myself into Maybe someone else eating knows. habits of, yeah. of Superman. Why don't you know, Clutch? You are Superman. Because I've always seen him eat. I never thought, does he never eat? But because he, he does. I, mean, I think it's a courtesy. Growing up, cells still have to regenerate, and that's what pro proteins and amino acids and vegetables and vitamins do. Okay, Jen Scott, protector of the <laughs> realm in conflict, now in a position to regenerate some flag capture points here. Oh, well, uh, they won't be regenerating a lot. They'll no. they'll be degenerating once these waffles hit them. Yeah, <laughs> very quickly. Very Lord quickly. Commander and the 5100 takes down the T1. Two minutes and three seconds here, guys. They're gonna have to force a firefight on the flag cap quickly. Yeah. Floppy Giraffe is avoiding Lord Commander though. He may be able to start some cap pressure. Of course, minute 53 left in the battle. These waffles could nuke a tank, making this an even fight. They do see, and look at it, static. Squirrel tag looking at Jen Scott. A zero. One fires, miss. Ooh, static. It's, uh, fires, shot, hits. Actually. Jen Scott down to seven step. The squirrel tag is taking hits, and he goes down. Boom. 25 seconds left on the fly cap. They can still go for multiple resets here. It's going to be tough. 5100s fighting it out. Lord Commander getting some shots against Urtai. Compton takes a hit from the IS3. Compton's ammo racked. He has oh, to bring his no. kit for that. A lot of ammo racks happening. Ammo racks happen all the time on these tanks. Ten seconds left for Nerve to get the flag cap. Reset happens, though. Sixteen seconds left on the clock. Protector of the Realm takes another hit to the front. Another reset. Have Down to spread to that damage. Lord Commander's coming in. Looks for Compton. Gets a kill. Urtai's just booking it as far as he can. If they get enough resets, maybe. But that waffle in the back. Wow, that waffle's making some hit static doing work. Shot from the side. But he's now finally spotted. And he takes fire. One hit. Sounds 707. Another hit. 274. And will he get another shot off before he's taken down? As Urtai is fighting against angry white guy. He goes down. And conflict. Takes down the rumba. 836. 18 seconds. Urtai. Could he do it? No. I don't think he can get I don't I don't think he can get the reset. Too many tanks on particular. Maybe he too could. many points protected the wrong. Uh, he's not loaded, is he? I don't think so. The IS3s are gonna have an easy time with him. And that does it. Flag cap. Favor of nerve. Battle number one. Boom. And yeah, they finally blow him up. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a long, long engagement. Uh, the Rumbas weren't let's able to do much. Let's, let's look at the damage. Let's look at the damage here. 
Oh yeah. my gosh. Mexi Bean. Ugh. Squirrel Tag put out 10 shots, didn't get a single hit though. Squirrel Tag? Squirrel Tag. Look down the bottom, Clutch. Rumba, 10 shots. No hits. One penetration, I have. Yeah, that, that was right. a no damage pen. Wow. And yeah, not so good there. And okay. uh, Static does got out an even 1,500 damage. And of course, Urtai does way better in six for six. Great job, Urtai. It's really too bad that you had Mexivine go boom with <sighs> one shot. Yeah, that shut them down. Actually, but potential damage received, notice, is 780. Mm -hmm. So that's as much damage as he took before his before the MRF happened. And 780 is uh, that's that's two IS3 shells right there. So he took two IS3 shells, both of them to the MRF. One damaged it. One set it off. He goes boom, easy. Sherlock Rue kill. There was three IS3s in the corner. The two hit. Then Jen Scott shot him, and that's what got the MRF. Yeah, didn't Crazy. even need that third hit. Crazy. Next map's gonna be Cliff. Uh, I believe we're getting really close for them to choose the tank. So we'll stay with you guys. We won't go to the commercial break. Ah, Cliff. Yay. <sighs> Good choice. Ammo racks. They can really <laughs> they messed up flip Cazadores. everything around. Just the tables turn so quickly. Mm. And, yeah, Cazadores messed them up against Simp. Yeah, the Cazadores could have taken that fight yesterday, maybe. But, of course, Simp has more experience. Generally, they come out ahead. Mm -hmm. They had a great flank working out. But Cazadores did pick up on the split. They pushed forward, got ammo racked. Here we have uh, 5100 just driving out, not protecting his ammo rack, not angling his armor. Thinks he's safe, but no, he's not. Goes boom. Very easy. Nerve had every advantage in that fight. They even got to send um, a 5100 far to the north to get yeah. a flank. And, and the thing is, No Limit couldn't even send someone, couldn't even send tanks to the north to stop him because they would have just lost out to Fast Cap. Really not looking good for No Limit. Very um, true. It's, this is seeing tanks line up, though. I see an IS-3 from Conflict. I hope he switches out of that for Cliff. That's... I don't think IS-3 is belong on this map. No. No, he could be trolling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he is. Okay. Thank <laughs> He is trolling. He's picking him out. Um, predictions, though, on strategy, though, for Cliff. Okay. Uh, again, I'm going to look towards the west because... You like that west. Well, I, uh, ha hashtag are you proved that the east works, so we can move fa past no, that. you like that east. Well, I love the east. But, but again, these T1s like not having engagements more or less on the western seas team so far... Uh, River yeah, of Blood have... holding him back. But, yeah, I mean, t tell us a little about what happens in the West usually. It's okay. just T1 fights. Well, aside from that T1 fight, you can have tanks that go early to try and use the ramp. There's a small ramp, right, Voucher, and they can come on up. We you, we can see a fight in this region, depending on who gets there first, who, how many, who is the overmatch. That fight usually goes to the greater numbers. There's also, for the north side, we've discovered, a little way to get up right right there. Right there, and from that position, you can actually have some fire that direction, dangerously, but more likely fire towards the hill. I love that crossfire from that position. So you, uh, so after that whole thing in the, um, what is it, in the middle, in the west side resolves, you can have T1 start to push up from the north, from the south, fight it out, and usually they'll actually stop somewhere around there, and then from the south, I think they generally stop in the corner, and then maybe someone goes over to F1, hides in a corner there. It's, it's whoever pushes first usually loses, though. Whoever pushes first usually loses. Uh, I know it's tough, guys. It's tough to take that aggression. But if you have a plan, you stick with the plan. The first aggression can work out in your favor. You just have to land your shots properly. Maybe bring a T8 battle, buddy. Listen to Rootkill. That's what you have to do. Here it is. Battle number two. Cliff, no limit versus Nerve. And for tanks, we see almost identical, pretty much, uh, yeah, identical lineups. Two, uh, a Pershing T69, 31390s for both sides. Looks like a Pyro is going to keep going to the north. Son of Hell needs to spot him. He needs to do that. It's Still. risky, but he oh. needs to. Well, he needs these to guys hope Pyro actually leaving the cliff edge and going down to the bottom. Oh, man. That will actually, oh, Static will have to put his gun all the way around in order to see that. And so, 1390, I think, will get it. This is the Pyro potential spotted. turret break. But oh, the T1. T1 almost goes! Oh, my gosh! Son of Hell takes down the 1390! It's all up to Protector of the Realm and the T69. Son of Hail in the T1 takes down the The plays! What plays from Son of Hail, you freaking hero! You just saved him. And now he's just gonna start spamming up at Protector of the Realm. Says, deal with it. Deal with it. 30 seconds left. Protector of the Realm does not have to engage. He can go for the draw. Static does not want the draw. They want a point on the board for No Limit. 
Static's actually playing around on the bottom now, looking for a shot up at Protector of the Realm. He's on the offensive now, but he has to be careful. He could just throw this away. Get behind the rock, Static. 15 seconds. Oh, yeah. Where's he going? Where's he going, well, Static? 10 seconds left. The T1 is going to still survive this. This is going to be a draw, folks. Five, four, Static zeros. He's looking for a shot. Don't think he finds anything. Protector of the Realm, not going. And it's a draw. A pyro falls to Son of Hail in a T1 uh, Hailfire. And he does 230 damage to his ally. Looking at the postgame, he did ah. in fact hit uh, Protector of the Realm. That really Yeah, really that, that was it. Without that, you have probably a victory for Nerve. But without that, uh, no limit would have... They could have won that. They that could have really won hurts. that battle. Oh All right. Gosh. We actually have a replay of... <laughs> Firefight and the team damage. Let's take yeah, a look right here. Right there is so, where it so happened. So go back. Like, I want to see that one more time if we can. Now, look at that. You can't just Boom. right there. Ah. Ah. Without ah. that, I, I mean, it's got to be lag or something just or just zeroing on the wrong spot because right there you have a kill. There's the kill shot waiting to happen. A pyro has it, but the T69 rolls out in front for the shot as well. I think they, I don't know if they coordinated that as well as we thought they were going to. That's what we call a simp shot. Yeah. Or Can't as I like to call it, the bad boys too. <laughs> that hurts. We're yeah. going to take a commercial break. We come back. Battle number three, Nolan versus Nerve. After this, you're watching the Gold League for World of Tanks. Welcome back to season three of the Gold League for World of Tanks. I'm Clutch, joined by Rukil, and we are waiting to start Himmelsdorf, which will be the map for battle number three of No Limit versus Nerve. Quite an engagement uh, with team team damage and a T1 taken down, a 1390. Anything is possible between these two teams, and we're going to find out what both of them can bring on the city map. It's time for battle number three on Himmelsdorf. Let's battle. You know, Clutch, I really want to see KV5 one of these days, but yeah, we're the not going to see wall, one. The moving wall, why yeah. not? Why well, not? the thing is, the 110 just performs that much better. It does. And it's just such a beautiful thing. Jane Scott. Smart guys, chosen the one, chosen the one ten, two fifty one hundreds, two IS threes, for the red team on the blue side. No limit. We've got two fifty one hundreds and three IS threes. Someone has learned the lesson. We got two guys sporting wet ammo racks. Those are the IS threes. Yes. After that engagement of a fifty one hundred exploding from an ammo rack, they want to go for those wet ammo racks. Yeah. Wow. What a, this is a crazy series so far, Rukel. One of the one of the craziest actually. I think we've had in season three. We, I don't know, man. We've had some crazy stuff. We have, but for an ammo rack and then a, a simp shot and a T1 taking out a 1390. Oh, it it's only game three so far <laughs> between these guys. There's, there's more in store. There's got to be That's more to be. in store. That's to be. Yeah. T, uh, 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 110 doing flips in the air. No. That would be sick. No, that's not possible. No, no, we can do that. We can make this happen. All right. There's a spot on, on the hill of Himmelsdorf. He can fall off, do some crazy moves in the air, get a <laughs> kick flip. Then shoot while, while flipping around. And oh, totally, yeah. Shot. 360 no scope. And yeah, uh, just A-team style, you know, mm -hmm. falling down a hill. Uh, well, Jen Scott in the 110 saw the T1 coming out from far away, went for the shot, no dice. He's going to fall back to another position. More of a defensive spread coming out of Nerve. And check in over with uh, the guys in the corner over here down the G-line close to Tank Alley. They're staying in one place right now. Nothing is scouted for them on any section of the map. Blind fire from Squirrelin and Static. Guns going off on something. I don't know what. They're unloading on something. I don't want to know what's taking so much fire. Oh, they do not like some corner. Wherever that <laughs> corner is. Are they just is. continually firing into that they corner? Just they just unloaded completely. There's nothing there except, well, there's a T1 uh, light tank. It's there's not conflict. It's Lieutenant Carter. Mm. He's popping out back and forth, not seeing I don't, anything. Did they even hit anything? Did they even hit that? No, there's no damage that's been done. Yeah. I. Well, these fence posts are sure to take a hit. Poor fence posts. Oh, here we go. Here's the push. Angry White Guy in the rear. Jen Scott in the 110 pushing up Tank Alley into enemy territory. Nothing's going to stop them here. They will turn the corner, and one tank will be in their way. It's a T1. It'll be destroyed very quickly. That's Floppy Giraffe. Floppy and Juke. Jen Scott missed the shot against Floppy Giraffe. Floppy's got mad jukes, yo. He does. Giraffes, are, giraffes are easy to they're, easy they can dodge stuff easily. Man. Their necks can bob and weave bullets, man. I've seen it. Mm -hmm. Tech, that's why people don't hunt giraffes. <laughs> They're too crafty. I think it's because it's illegal. Exactly. <laughs> it wastes too much ammunition. <laughs> no one can hit them. 
It's, that's clearly the reason, it's Clutch. Cost it makes, it only makes sense. It's only it's illegal because it's so stressful. Jen Scott in the 110 trying to trade more fire on the other side. Things are illegal because they're expensive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, protector of the realm. Pushing up behind the rubble. Can't get another shot here. Jurassic took a lot of damage there. Trade value so far. No damage going against Nerve. Now there's a flank coming out of Static and Squirrel Tag, but I believe they're going to find themselves fighting Lord Commander and his battle buddy. That's, is that angry white guy, I think, with him? 25100 is mm, going yes, for flanks. Yes, with Lord Commander. They are up oh. to the north section. Oh, they'll back off because they're like, oh, we don't want to deal with that. That's not a good idea. They only spotted Lord Commander, though. I thought maybe they'd get a little uh, overzealous and go for the attack, but they're backing off. Lord Commander, though, might come back and try to get some free hits on Squirrel Tag as they are in full re well, they're just in reverse gear right now. Look at how fast those French tanks go in reverse gear. Yeah, uh, they, they can go pretty quickly mm -hmm. in the opposite direction. But they can go pretty just as quickly, I think, going forward as they well. They go much quicker forward. <laughs> That's the only direction. Only direction world of tanks that you want to go. It's the best direction. All right, Jen Scott did take some damage in the 110. That's the first uh, blood that will be spilled. Although Compton and Urtai have taken a lot of damage. Compton's down to 679. And there's a tank, Protector of the Realm, coming out to put a sh shot on it. He takes a hit and is forced back. Protector, you could have just gone out and fired after taking that. But no, he's going to back off and stay safe. Going to maybe peek again. Urtai is just reversing. Not as fast in his IS-3. Reverse gear is not that strong. He's choosing not to go forward, though, and he's taking damage down to 652. Mm. Oh, and in the north, 5100s are going to be in engaging. They're going for the push. They're just going to go drive by. Static taking hits. Squirrel Tag tracked. He gets bursted down very quickly. Now Static is, puts a shot at the Lord Commander. Now Angry White Guy misses a shot. And Static takes more hits down to 247. And finishes off Lord Commander. Able Good hit. To get it. Angry White Guy was not focused on that firefight, and rightfully so. He's going to be up against Static. T1 bouncing some big shots up to the front. Static on the run. Son of Hale feeling frisky here. Did get a kill against a Tier 8 earlier. But look at Darasta. He goes down to three tanks. Now Jen Scott, Protector of the Realm, and Pyro are going to be able to take on Urtai. 3v1. Urtai is down to 255. And it's going to be over from here. Unless he can get uh, magic or something. Jen Scott looking for the shot. Gets it. No, nope. Protector of the Realm. Gets the kill. Son of Hale. It's going to get rammed by Angry White Guy, and that's going to slow down Angry White Guy from getting into the firefight. But it's not going to matter. Static, 94 damage away from uh, falling here. Nerve's going to take this battle, no problem. Static will move. To and that's it. Yep. Nerve is able to take battle number three. One battle away from winning the series. Well, they went for the push, and they have the two flanks ready to go. But at the north side, those 5100s had a better trade. Yeah, just the way it went. And in the south, I mean, they had a better trade as well. Mm -hmm. Just in every spot, it went better for Nerf. They just fought that battle better. And uh, No Limit tried to do something, but I don't know. That push would, seemed a little bit desperate and, or unplanned. It, it didn't synergize well with any other pushes because the South, they were losing. They weren't having a good time with those IS-3s. They definitely lost out there. Losing is not a good time yeah. in anything that you do, especially mm -hmm. in World of Tanks. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We come back. Battle number four of Nerve versus No Limit. Stay tuned, you're watching the Gold League. Back to the Gold League for World of Tanks, I'm Clutch, you're my Rue Kill, my battle buddy. And we are in battle number four of No Limit versus Nerve. The map, Ruinburg. Mm. Himmelsdorf didn't look too good. I don't know why No Limit's heading off to Ruinburg. Mm. Uh, I don't know either. Yeah. I don't know either. I, th uh, I think Nerve can take this three to zero with that one draw. Yeah. They could have taken Cliff. I thought they were going to win that. I think they should go off to I think map. they thought they were going to win that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Pyro's sitting down after that after that battle going. Is he still up there? Is he still playing? Oh, yeah, guys. Wow, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's probably what he said. Yeah. Well, the only way from here is up, and that's what they're trying to accomplish. Nerve can do it. No Limit could also still do it. They could take this to a shootout. Ruin Nerve's, well, just ruin the score of Nerve. Although Nerf would then be Bring able to, if, they, if Nerf won a Bring shootout. Bring down to the Silver League. Yes. That's what they could do. If Nerf did that, they would actually tie with Refuse to Die, making it so Refuse to Die and Nerf would have to. <laughs> to, to more tiebreakers. More tiebreakers. Great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Battle number four is about to begin on Ruinberg between Nerf and No Limit. Let's battle. All Frenchies. All Frenchies for No Limit. Two, three 5100s, two 1390s. Two 5100s and I, two IS3s and a 1390. Uh, that's a lot of burst clutch. That's, uh, that's a lot. Going out with style. Hmm. Going out with style or winning in style? 
Well, hey, if they can win this, go for it. But that's the type of mentality, too. You know what, guys? I think this is it. Let's have some fun this last battle. And then they win. All right, let's do the same thing. Then they win. Sweet. <laughs> and they tie up the series. They need two wins here. Uh, Nerve, Nerve can draw this out and win. Or win the battle, obviously. Please don't draw this out. Series. Just win it. I'm going to go for it. Oh, only one tank on city side for no limit. Everyone else going towards the Delta Village. Same thing for the south side. They're going to meet in the field or meet in the Delta Village. This fight should be interesting. Jen Scott, though, in the I-3 is spotted on his way up. May take the low ground, meaning that the fight in the Delta Village could go to no limit. Urtai spotted. Falling back from the 5100 of Lord Commander. And they do spot a couple tanks on the other side of the map. Oh, they, the south. they spot those 5100s. That's actually it's really big. Push. Angry white guy focusing fire on one along with Lord Commander. Anything oh. hit? No. No, no. It's, that was dirt that took the fire. Ah, that dirt deserved it. Yeah, stupid dirt. Always getting in the way. <laughs> Jump over to the pyro here. It's had a rough night. Son of son of hail's around the corner. Pyro's going. Ah, I'm not going against that guy. Somebody else take him. He's a scary T1 man. Squirrel He'll tag. mess you up. Squirrel tank spotted, and he's hit. First hits fire across 980 at a 1400 for his tank. A pyro around the corner. Static takes a hit. It is hit to 100. Lord Commander fires another shot. Dorasta still moving forward. They're moving past the cityscape of the Delta Village. They're trying to make this fight happen where the IS3s are going to come late to the party and not be able to affect it enough early on. Of course, as we can see, those IS3s are fast enough to join the fight, and this plan is not working as well. Gorilla as Mode coming out of Compton 310 and Urtai. Gorilla Mode is just hugging face. And he's taking damage for it. He's not a heavyweight. He's a lightweight. He can't stand up against I that. I think he can escape. I think he can do it. Uh, Pyro he... coming around the corner. Can he get the shot on him? No, he already escapes. Oh, actually, as he crosses, he could take fire. No, he's not. He's going to escape. But he's so low. I don't know if he's going to be able to affect this fight much. Looks to shoot through a building. Not going to be able to find a shot. Actually, it looks like Jen Scott's lining up. Fire on Compton as he moves. Yeah, take the ground, take a big hit on the side. Comps is looking for it. Jen Scott, though, gets the hit right through this building. Easy peasy. Tank to the realm. Still 382. Jen Scott with that kill. Compton has fallen. Stay on Jen Scott here for a bit in his IS3. Chugging across. He sees four tanks. Which one's he going to fire upon? It's Urtai. Urtai falls back. 296 out of 110. Or uh, Ludhover, excuse me. Jen Scott. Holding the line. He's going to have be reloaded here in a second. Does he focus on Urtai? Does he go for someone Urtai, else? Urtai, don't back out. Don't do it. Uh, he tries to go for Durasta, but Durasta will dodge that shot. And actually, Conflict's going to be in the backfield. T1 fight. Go Take on. to the Realm Falls. And Flavio Giraffe wins against Conflict. And Jen Scott still sees Urtai. Six minutes and 50 seconds left. Well, that could be cap pressure, but in the north, there's going to be cap pressure. Son of Hail has made his way into the backfield, and now. Minute 38, minute 36. Floppy Giraffe can save this battle, but he could also go down. Don't know. Puts out blind fire. Doesn't get any connections yet. More blind fire. Still no connections. And I'm looking for a 1390 flank to happen. Also, oh, fight Lord Commander takes a big hit to the front from Static, but a Pyro in the 1390 is going to be cruising towards him. That 1390 wants to engage on the other side of the thir that 5100. He doesn't block him. He still moves. I don't think he's reloaded. Urtai has rear shots on Jin Scott, but he's not going for him. If he gets him, he could save this, but Urtai isn't loaded. And, be, and he runs into a building, unfortunately. Jin there. Scott gets the kill. Nice shot from that IS-3. Still staying in the fight, even though he's low. Oh, a floppy giraffe lost. Flag cap still happening on both sides. Static, the last tier 8 tank left alive, moving to the south to stop the flag cap. No one yet moving to the north. Angry White Guy now choosing to go to the north to stop that flag cap. Anything is still possible. Two tanks left on the field. Nerve wants to shut this down. They want to be over. They want to end the season with two wins here. Mm -hmm. Static. Stops the zero on Carter. Miss a track shot. Uh, and there, second shot makes connection. Static, turn, turn around. You can still shoot bad men behind you. Uh, Son of Hail sees the 5100. Shoots. No penetration coming from those small... No and Azusa and lines up the shot. Misses. Lord Commander it's hits though. And again. Come Lord on, Commander, angry one more. guy. There he goes. Only one tank left alive for Nerve to kill for them to get this series over with with a win. And ending the season two and five, staying out of relegations, I believe. 
the juke set of Son of Hail are actually pretty solid. He's playing very well in his T1, and he will start going back towards the cap. 5100 looking for him. It's going to fail. Turn just in time. A a spotted A by Angry White Guy. He also spots Angry White Guy. But his jukes are... His, his kung fu is strong. <laughs> Such good jukes. Son of Hail is saying to Angry White Guy, Stop trying to hit me and hit me. And just got hits him instead. And that does it. Nerve takes the series. Three. To zero. Well, Nerve, I believe you're going to stay out of regulations. No limit. Best of luck in the Silver League. And we hope that you do try to make it back into the Gold League via the Silver League or via the qualifiers. That does it for this series. I don't think there's really any much, uh, any more to say. It's pretty much a Delta Village fight, and that was it. And not a big surprise. No limit hasn't been performing that well. Nerve's been performing a little bit more consistently. Good job, Nerve. Yep. All right. Well, we're going to take our halftime break. So we'll be back in about 10 minutes. After that, we have two more matches for the night. Fulcrum Gaming versus Simple Tankers, which you do not want to miss. And Hashtag RU versus Game Over. This is, chan this is a chance for Hashtag RU to solidify their placement in the top eight or for Game Over to win and knock out River of Blood. We're going to find out what happens after our halftime show. Stay tuned. We'll be back. After <laughs>